Sometimes, when you wake up in the morning, you think, today's a good day for a brew. I wonder what I can make. The problem is, when you do decide you want to make a brew, and you go to your grain box, and you have a look and see what grains you've got, you realise you're a bit short on ingredients. But you've got some, so what are you going to do? First thing I did was to design a recipe around the grains that I already have. All I had was some caramel malt, some maris otter and some pale ale, and not a lot of that either. I've already got some water heating and a kettle so that I can get ready for when I'm ready to sparge. My grain bag's ready to take the grain and don't forget always put your grain bag in with the seam on the outside that will make it easier to clean and the grain particles don't get stuck. I'll mix my chosen grains before I add them to the bag that way it gives them an extra chance to work alongside each other. The water's now at 70 degrees and that should be able to bring me down with the temperature of the grain added to what I need it to be. I'm going to mash in at about 66 degrees. I want the mash to be a little lower in temperature than my usual 68 because I'm going to see if I can get the sugar content to be down low enough that I get more sugar used up with the yeast that way I'll get a slightly drier brew. Now I'll just wrap it up and I'll come back in an hour ready to start the boil. Well I have to say I'm quite impressed. I've taken the hot bag out and top the water up to 5 litres which I'm aiming to get after the boil. I've taken a reading with my refractometer and I'm coming out with a reading of 1039. That's a little surprising because I was thinking I'll have to add some dextrose to bring my reading up but it looks like I might not have to. That's the 8 grams of Fuggles hops added. They are in for a 60 minute boil. After the boil they'll come out and I'll put the 8 grams of pearl hops and let that rest for 20 minutes before cooling. Well now the boil's over, I've removed the pearl hops and the coil is cooling and this normally takes about 8 minutes. Now I've transferred the wort into the fermentation vessel and in this case I'm just using a 5 litre plastic water container that came from the supermarket. I've added the yeast and all I need to do now is cover it and wait until everything is all over before I can bottle. That was an interesting little experiment. I can't wait to see what the results are going to be but then you never know with these things. That's part of the fun of brewing your own. And that's also the reason why I make one gallon batches as opposed to five gallon, simply because if things do go a bit wry, no pun intended, then I've only lost a gallon. I hate losing any, but sometimes things don't go the way you expect. I do look forward to trying that beer and I shall tell you exactly what I find when I do.